Hi, my name is Trudy Healy. Welcome to your weekly angel card reading for Beacons of Angel Light. This is for the week beginning February 27, 2017. Isn't that crazy? We're already going into the first week of the third month um, of 2017. It's insane. Um, so we're going into Mercury retrograde. There is, you know, a sense of completion here. Hopefully the things, you know, you, you started before the Mercury retrograde, those are going to be completed, but there are delays in the process. Um, and so that's the vibe that I'm, like, going to be talking about throughout the reading. I just know it. So let's clear the deck. I'm going to separate the cards here. Um... So I have messages from the guardian angels that I'm going to go with first. So let's see what cards we got. There's one. Got to keep shuffling. This one and this one and this one. Yeah. So first card that we get is the three of water. It's a celebration, some sort of event, like a christening. It could be a wedding. It could be a baptism. It could be a first communion. It could be a wedding announcement, engagement type of deal, um, something to be celebrated. And it's like a beckoning for us to have more fun. We've been like the go-getter, you know, very diligent about doing this, that, the fifth, uh, the mundane, and it's time to make time for memories. Um, so this is the ace of water. This is falling in love with a self or with another self, an aspect of a person or a brand new person entirely. Um, and it's a relationship that has deep spiritual growth and it adds to your psychic abilities. Um, it's almost like an ascension necessity, if you will, um, this person coming into our life or a new aspect that we appreciate in ourselves or in another person. Um, could also mean a change of home. Lots of us are going to be moving. Um, then we have the night of water and this is very emotional romantic enthusiastic um, contemplative somebody who ponders all of the possibilities um, and so again it's talking about falling in love again wedding proposals it's you know spring is in the air love is in the air and um, there's also like a lack of balance with the emotional aspect of things. So we are being encouraged to meditate and to reevaluate during the Mercury retrograde. You don't want to go into things, brand new things. You know, you want to reconsider, you want to reevaluate, you want to reassess, relax, and all the re's that you can possibly think of. Um, so it's an invitation to, yet again, to go and socialize. Get out there, get out of your shell, <laughs> and go and socialize and share of yourself. Um, so then there's the seven of air, and this is like, what I'm saying, it's like bad timing, you know? The Mercury retrograde is going to cause delays and my face is itching and that's the angels confirming it. So it's like, there's too much going on. We need to revise, we need to revisit the plans, the strategy. We're not being allowed to move forward in this one direction because it's not intended for us and we need to accept it and grow in another way. So, you know, like if you see there, it looks like an atom bomb went off, you know, around the unicorns. There's a lot going on there. And that's pretty much what's going on in our sphere of, you know, what's going on around us. Um, so 
poor timing poor timing that's what it boils down to um so those were the guardian angel messages then we got the archangels You can't make this up. Okay. So first we got Archangel Raziel, number one, the magician. In the traditional tarot, the magician is the, the alchemist. He's the creator. He's the one that creates all from nothing. And we are the ultimate creators of this hologram that we see here on planet Earth, our existence. Um, and so he is encouraging us to manifest from our heart space and to really be brave to dream and put to action our dreams. Anything is possible and life is magical and you are the magician. So this is what I was saying is you cannot make this up. It's Archangel Raziel again. <laughs> and this time he's number nine. So it's the one and the number nine. And... Um, He's encouraging us, it's what I was saying earlier, he's encouraging us to meditate and spend quiet alone time, you know, to reflect and reconsider and reassess and reevaluate and really have a deeper understanding of a very familiar situation. Um, lots of self-discovery. So that was the angel cards from Doreen Virtue and Raleigh Valentine um, but I'm also going to pull some cards from Blue Angel Oracle cards by Tony Carmine Salerno um, because the messages are just phenomenal and so even though I have become familiar with the cards I just feel like the messages are so beautiful from the book I simply I can't recreate it unless I read it to you from the book, so I'm going to be reading from the book. So let's see if we get one or two or whatever amount of cards we get. But these are messages from Archangel Michael, and I'm feeling very Archangel Michael for this week. I've got my nails blue, and my just blue is what's been resonating. So whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. I clear the deck that way. Oh, oh, they're jumping out. This one. Yeah, this one also wanted to come out. Okay. So the first card, oh, I actually don't know that I've seen this one. It's called Eternal Guidance, and the number is 24. Here, you can see it. Eternal Guidance. So I'm going to read it from the book. Feel the star of light that you hold in your heart and follow your own inner guidance, no matter what others say. What feels right in your heart is your truth. So let your heart be gu your guide. Do not agree to something that does not feel right. Others believe that they know what is best for you. Remember, you can always choose to disagree. You will still be loved no matter what you do. And here's a quote that applies. I'm not certain who it's from though. I am guided by life. I am guided by this breath. I am guided by the light that shines inside me. I am guided by all that I am. It's a really good affirmation. So maybe you guys should repeat it with me. I'm going to say it again. I am guided by life. I am guided by this breath. I am guided by the light that shines inside me. I am guided by all that I am. And then the next card that we got is Oromasis, Purification of Fire. So this is like ashes to ashes and dust to dust. This is a cleansing. This is a harsh cleansing. The number is 43. Um, 
again, I'm going to read it from the book because it's just much better. Um, many unexpressed thoughts and emotions. It's so funny that the kid's crying in the background because that's what this is going to be like somewhat. Um. <laughs> Many unexpressed thoughts and emotions which have been stored over time remain locked inside you. These include past, disappoint bleh, past disappointments, fear and worry, feelings of inadequacy and guilt. Nothing serious, just remnants of life experience. It's time to release these emotions and to purify your thoughts. You do not need to analyze things and relive the past. Just acknowledge that you have a whole lot of baggage that you would like to clear and then imagine a brilliant flame of light transforming and purifying your emotional and physical body. Feel yourself being cleansed and healed and feel the sense of freedom that comes as a result of this purification. Feel the peace, joy and love. I pray for love to guide me, to illuminate my heart and mind, so that I may feel the sacred flame of light within my soul. So these were by Blue Angel Oracle Cards by Tony Carmine Salerno. And that's the message for the week. So, you know, if you have travel plans that you had already made, that's great. Stick to it anticipate on travel delays and things of that nature you know get there early because it is a mercury retrograde but I wouldn't recommend to go and book something new during the retrograde and take a vacation during the retrograde like short notice like that so just be wary you know we're in a mercury retrograde lots of technological difficulties and we are in an era of technology this is the planet that rules technology and communication so just be mindful of it. Sorry for the long message there, guys. I love you all so very much. Love yourselves and love everyone around you. Mwah!